welcome you to EuroPCR TV program. I'm Estevam Martins, interventional cardiologist from Brazilian Air Force Hospital in Rio de Janeiro. And I have the honor to interview today Omar Gottkin uh, from Memorial Hospital in Turkey. Our topic today is about carotid artery stenting, uh, advanced and novel strategies. So Omar, let's start with uh, the tailored approach, a patient-centered approach rather than a uh, device-centered approach. Yeah. What's your opinion about that? Thank you very much for Estava for discussion. Of course, uh, I think tailored uh, strategy is very important these days because uh, we have to focus on the patient situation. And before um, starting uh, coronary artery st uh, stenting, we should know uh, some answers of uh, some questions. Like if the patient had any stroke before previously, uh, if, if, he, if he or she has, which kind of uh, stroke is this? Is it severe or uh, TAA? And also we should know if there is infection in the brain and we, have, we should know the volume of the infection. So I think also we should know about anatomy of the patients. We should know the, which kind of type uh, of arch patient has. Um, if it is three or two, it's, it's, it's important to our, for our decision. And also we'd like to see the, any tortuosity of the carotid artery, in a common artery, in internal artery. If there is any uh, severe tortuosity, it may affect our technique and uh, stunt choosing. So, and we have all this information uh, before the uh, procedures from uh, CT and CT angio, actually about the radial access for carotid intervention. What is your opinion regarding this access? Oh, yeah, all the most of the time, operators do uh, transfemoral approach for carotid artery stenting, but I think uh, there is a good space for radial approach too, especially if the patient has type 3 arch or bovine uh, arch. In that case, I think uh, it's, it will be very helpful to go uh, from right radial uh, because it will be easier. Um, as you know, in, in patients with a stroke, they have lots of uh, ateroma in the, in the arcus of aorta. So when we try to engage the uh, aorta, carotid artery, uh, we may have s some stroke. So let's change a little bit the topic about proximal protection devices uh, in new uh, and challenging anatomies. What is your impression regarding proximal protection devices? Yes, I think a protection device is uh, extremely important, especially for uh, some patients, such as uh, if the patient has um, thrombotic lesion or soft plaque, or if the patient has recent uh, stroke or TAA. In those patients, um, I think we have advantage of using uh, proximal protection device and in sometimes uh, some uh, difficult anatomies and uh, in some very tortuous carotid artery uh, in those patients it's not easy to insert filter to the distal in those patients I think proximal protection device could uh, help as well so Omar just more question uh, tell us about the arrival of the double mesh carotid stent what can it improve carotid artery stenting results I think, yes, we had new uh, devices now called double mesh stents. Uh, I think they are very helpful uh, as well. Why? Because they have double mesh, they have very small uh, hole. So, you know, that, uh, after we, we have one problem after stenting, we, we may have late uh, stroke even after, uh, after procedure in the first day or uh, later on we may have a stroke. Uh, I think uh, one of the reasons why why we have stroke after stenting is protrusion of the plaque. And with double mesh stent, we cover all the lesion and there will be no any protrusion, basically, and there will be the, 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 the risk of late embolization is so low. I think, uh, especially in, in patients with uh, very high risk, in patients with uh, recent stroke and very symptomatic patients, um, double mesh stent could uh, help. And also, um, uh, in some anatomy, also, double mesh stand could be convenient. Okay, thank you very much, my friend Omar. Uh, you must know that the only purpose of carotid artery stent is to prevent a stroke, and we are amazed with the 
new technology and a new device that has been launched on the market. And here in Europe CR 2017 is the right place to be to learn all these technologies. So thank you, Homer. Thank you, all of you.